This is A-Action Home Inspection Group bringing you another inspection moment through the eyes of the inspector. Today we're in Arlington, Texas evaluating a electric water heater that's installed in the garage. Now when inspecting water heaters, water heaters have different requirements when installed in the garage versus the interior of the home. So we're only going to cover those items that are required when a water heater is installed in a garage. In this case, this water heater has been replaced and that uh, whoever replaced it did install a pan underneath the water heater. But if you're going to install a pan, uh, the pan is required to have its own drain line and the drain line should terminate to the exterior of the home. You can see in this case that there's no drain line so the installation of the pan really isn't doing any good at all. Also water heaters are required to be installed at least 18 inches off the floor of the garage as illustrated here. The purpose for installing uh, water heaters 18 inches off the floor of the garage is to help keep them away from any type of what's called a VOC or volatile organic compound. What that does is uh, prevent ignition of these VOCs. Um, items that would put off VOCs or uh, things like gasoline stored near the water heater, paint thinners, or even paint installed near a water heater. Also, all water heaters are required to have a temperature and pres pressure relief valve installed in them. The valve should be installed a minimum of six inches in, in the upper six inches of the water heater or in the top of the water heater. This, in this case, the manufacturer installed it in the side of the water heater. All temperature and pressure relief valves are required to have what's called a discharge pipe. The discharge pipe should run gravitationally downwards at all points, terminate to the exterior of the house, turn a 90 degree, have a 90 degree elbow that turns downwards, and terminate a minimum of six inches off the ground or off what's called finished grade. That way, uh, if it does leak, it leaks to the exterior of the home, or if it does pop off, it uh, carries all the hot water to the exterior of the home as well, of the structure. Here you can see when they replaced the water heater, they did not properly install the electrical connections inside the top of the water heater housing as required by the manufacturer. Also, the, in this installation, you can see where the conduit's not long enough. So we're going to report that to our client that we have some uh, exposed electrical connections and also that the conduit's not long enough. You can also see that we have um, galvanized fittings, which are dissimilar to the copper or brass that's uh, connected to the top of them. This will cause electrolysis to occur and that um, uh, will corrode out and eventually start leaking. So we'll recommend or document in our report to have dielectric fittings installed. All water heaters are required to have a cold shut water shutoff valve in place. So we want to evaluate the cold water shutoff to make sure that it's in place and also there's no corrosion on it or anything that may prevent the operation of the water valve. Part of our inspection, it's a good idea or it's always helpful to the client to look at the manufacturer's listing plate and evaluate the age of the water heater and the size of the water heater. That way you can document these items in your inspection report and then uh, give those to your client. As here you can see on the serial number, I underlined the first two numbers, 04. That tells me that this water heater was installed in or 2004. Also, we want to look over here. I've already put an arrow to it, but this is an 80 gallon water heater, which is much larger than typical water heaters. But uh, the customer would like to know uh, what size water heater they have. When I reported that this was an 80 gallon water heater, the wife went, hooray, more hot water. A Action Home Inspection Group has several more videos posted on our website. That's at a-action.com. A, that little dash sign, action.com. If you find these videos informative, don't forget to rank them and post comments. A Action Home Inspection Group is here when you need the correct answers to your inspection questions.